Hi guys, so let's now take a look at break-even analysis. Really important concept in business. Let's take a good look here. Okay, so break-even is simply the point where total revenue equals total cost. Uh, profit and loss at this point is zero. Okay, nothing. Right, now there's some key calculations you must understand with regard to uh, break-even analysis. And firstly, that is about contribution uh, per unit. Now, when it comes to contribution, contribution provides a business with contributions, firstly, covering their fixed costs, secondly, to actually giving them some profit, of course. Uh, so contribution per unit is simply the uh, selling price minus the variable cost. So let's look at an example of this, which I've just drawn up with some figures here on the right-hand side. Uh, so if we want to work out our uh, contribution per unit, we can see the price is £10, okay, uh, minus our variable cost, okay, which is £5. So that tells us that we are working to a unit contribution of just £5. Nice and simple, nice and straightforward. Okay, now we've got total contribution, so this is contribution per unit, okay, what we have here, £5 times the quantity sold, okay, well, we don't necessarily know how many have been sold yet, okay, we're not going to worry about this calculation just yet, but we could, if we wanted, multiply that by 1400 to tell us what the total contribution would be if all units were actually sold given this uh, given period that we're working to. But let's move on, let's have a look at this break-even point. Okay, so break-even equals the fixed cost divided by the contribution per unit. Now, this break-even point is, of course, the break-even point when it comes to actually units sold, okay? Uh, so, we've got our five pounds for our contribution per unit. So now, all we need to do is put in 5,000 pounds and divide that, of course, by five pounds. As we divide that by five pounds, that will tell us that we have a break-even point of a thousand units. Nice and straightforward, isn't it? Okay, right, so there it is. Um, now, the next thing we can think about doing is actually representing this on a break-even graph. Again, this is nice and straightforward. We've got these figures and we need to use these figures to actually put this information into our break-even graph here. So let's do this right now. So first thing you want to do is concentrate on that 5,000 pounds. And we can see that five is here, 5,000. This is denoted in thousands. And this is our output here. This is our revenue and cost. So as we put that line in, we can see that that is our fixed cost, okay? So I'll just highlight that as FC. Nice and straightforward. Um, so now let's uh, consider our total cost. Well, if you remember, the total cost equals the fixed cost plus the total variable cost. Now to get this total variable cost, you then need to take your variable cost and multiply it by uh, the quantity, okay, or the output. Um, now, here we can see our variable cost is five pounds, so all we're going to do is multiply it by each of these numbers each time, so it would be five pounds times 200, okay, but we are going to add this on, because remember, the fixed cost plus the total variable cost, okay, will give us uh, the correct level for our total cost. So we will therefore start at this point here, okay? Incidentally, if we did just draw in the variable cost, it would be represented down here, okay? Um, right, so uh, let's take our uh, contribution then and let's work through what we actually have here. Sorry, uh, yeah, the variable cost times the output, okay? So let's work through what we've got here. So five pounds times 200 is obviously uh, 1,000 pounds, so we can just put this information in. 1,000 times uh, another 200, 1,000 times another 200, and so on and so on, okay? So we can see the rate at which total cost rises there, okay? Um, now, there's our total cost line. Okay, so again, nice and straightforward, I hope. Uh, so let's now turn our eyes uh, and our attention to the revenue. So the total revenue that the business can actually generate is uh, calculated by the price times the quantity sold or the output level, okay? Um, price times quantity, okay? So uh, here we've got a price of 10 pounds and we've got our quantities or our outputs along our horizontal axes. So 
starting off here, 10, um, 10 pounds times 200 obviously means that we end up at 2,000 pounds. Okay, and then uh, 4,000, then 6,000, uh, then we're up to 8,000, and then we're at our break even point. Okay, well, we saw here we break even at 1,000 units. What do you know? We've got a thousand units there as well. Okay, uh, now let's continue working this through as well. Uh, and we can see that we end up with this sort of scenario playing through. So let's just highlight that total revenue there. Okay, right, there's our total revenue. This point here, of course, represents our break even point. Okay, so that is the level at which we would break even. And let's just highlight that break even point there it is okay um, so now let's just take two more colors here and just uh, represent these different areas within our break even uh, graph here now this uh, triangle that we have highlighted here well this area you can see the actual total cost is greater than the total revenue so at this level of course the business is making a loss so I'm highlighting that in red to reflect that up here we can see that total revenue is greater than total cost of course so the total revenue here is greater than the total cost and therefore the business has a profit so I'm highlighting that in green there okay uh, so guys there it is that is uh, break-even analysis in a nutshell uh, now we'll look at uh, the margin of safety in our next lesson uh, but thanks so much for joining me don't forget hit that like button thanks guys